Hello Ben, this is Mary Ann, and I am going to show you today how to put this little ending um, at the end of every one of your blog posts. It kind of looks good. It's uh, We uh, have the information about your project here, pictures people can enlarge, and then this at the end, a little HR tag, uh, uh, call to action, get in touch with Ben, and then the um, phone button and the email button that are both hot buttons people can click. And then, of course, at the end, see more projects at more customer innovations to get people back to your website. So let me show you how to do that and how to add it. It's very, pretty much straightforward. So at this point, I've already put a blog post in, and I have, in fact, added the, the photo gallery. But all this goes beyond at the end of the photo gallery. So I call, click here, and I add a block. And I'm going to use the custom HTML block here. If it doesn't come up first, go ahead and search for it in the search bar. So custom HTML, there it is. This is your HR tag. Greater than HR, less than. There you go. That's the HR tag. We go back up here and add another block. This will be a paragraph block. And we'll say get in touch with Ben for a free quote. Okay. And I think this looks a little bit better bolded in this particular use. So we're just going to bold it. There you go. So we've done this. So now we're going to add another block. Only this time we're adding a column block. So here we have add a block, and I'm looking for the columns. And there it is. If it doesn't come up, you can always search for it. Uh, but there it is. And we only need two columns here because we're going to put the photo block in one and the email block in the other. So I click this, and now I'm looking for a reusable block. And I can find them clear down here where it says reusable phone button. There it is. And then I go to here, and again, I click in to the little block space. I click add a block, and I scroll down for reusable, and this will be the email button. So now I click out of that area just to make sure I'm all done with that. I'm now going to add another block. I don't add another block while I'm in this column. If I do, it'll add the block at the bottom of the column. I go up here, add a block, and this will be again our custom HTML, which is the HR tag. Done that. And now we do the last block that is a paragraph block. And we're going to ask people to go to your website here. So this would say, um, OK. Now we want to make this a link, more custom renovation. So let's highlight it. And we go to link. And here we're going to paste it in. So actually we're not going to paste it, we're just going to write it in. It's https colon slash slash and that's it. At this point you apply and you have it done. So I'm going to now go ahead and save the draft on this blog post and let you see it. And let's go to preview. Give it just a moment. River House in Florence, Oregon. And they scroll down. These are pictures people can click on. And right here are your two buttons and the nice little uh, call to action. So that's it. That's how you do it. And uh, talk to you later.